following video will show a professional amateur and his on-hand experience with Strix Gaming Peripherals. He will show you all you need to know as well as a brief review of each gear. If you want to know more about the specifications of the products shown in this video, then please visit their official product website, linked in the description below. Enjoy! Yo, what's up guys? My name is Glocka and welcome to another tech review. It's been a while since we've done one of these, but a lot of you guys have been asking me which kind of peripherals or what brand of peripherals am I using right now. Well, uh, for the past tech reviews, we've been using Asus products and I am still using an Asus product, but this time, instead of the Cerberus, I'm using a diff different kinds of peripherals now. Specifically, the Strix brand. There you go, we have a Strix mice over here. We have the freaking Strix keyboard right over here. And for my headphones, we have the... There you go. The Strix Pro headset. Yeah, it's pretty much Strix from here on out, guys. And I've been using these for the past... Yeah, more than a month now. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you guys a closer look of the in, of this peripherals. Okay, guys. All right, they're here. Don't mind the salt. Okay. Okay, guys. So the first peripheral I'm going to show you is the keyboard. It's a Strix Tactical Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Yup, it is mechanical. You can take it off, as you can see there. It's actually black. I think you can change it because it's a Cherry MX switches. So yeah, you can change it to any color you want. But as for the LED lights, it's gonna stay orange, guys. Okay, it's only orange. So anyway, um, I've been using this keyboard for the past month. And during my first time using this, it was really awkward because of these macro keys here. Because I'm a MOBA player. Yeah, generally a MOBA player and an FPS, FPS player. And as a player of those games, we don't really use macro keys that much. And we always use the control and the alt keys. Now, whenever I play MOBA games using this keyboard, sometimes I accidentally press these keys instead of this. So it's kind of confusing at first. So I had to move the keyboard way over here just to reorient myself. But if you're an RPG player, like if you play World of Warcraft and all that stuff that requires a lot of skill sets and stuff, then these macro keys will serve as an advantage for you guys, okay? So, but you'll get used to it if you're not a RPG player, okay? Now guys, I would also like to point out the sound that this keyboard makes. Now, a lot of you guys are really picky when it comes to the tactile feel of your mechanical keyboard. So since this is a uh, Cherry MX Black Switch, um, it's not that, you know, it doesn't really produce that much sound which is actually really nice for me since when i record videos i don't want the viewers to hear my keyboard pressing and stuff oh yeah here it is here's how it sounds like so when you're typing normally this is how it sounds like kind of just a bit louder than a membrane keyboard so that's nice but if you're more of a person who really likes to you know express your rage or your feelings when playing a game and you want to really hear each press of the button you you make, you can just switch it to uh, maybe a red one or a blue one, whatever you prefer. Okay, so that's good. It's switchable. Another thing I want to point out is it's anti-ghosting. So uh, just to explain what anti-ghosting is, some keyboards, which especially those without anti-ghosting, when you press uh, multiple buttons at the same time, sometimes the computer or the keyboard does not even register those commands but with this keyboard each press of the button all the buttons even if you press Q W E R I at the same time it's gonna register that okay instantly so no problems there uh, other keys here is this macro record and as for mm, I'm not really sure what it is but I think it's a program that records each button you press and or each keystroke you use so i'm not sure if any of you guys uh, use this key but hey it's there <laughs> and what else uh yeah that's pretty much it um macro keys in this keyboard you have two four six eight ten over here and then you can switch these ones to be 
dedicated macro keys as well. So there are 21 macro keys in total. Alright guys. Oh, these are macro keys as well. And there's also a multimedia, multimedia keys over here. For, you know, you want to adjust the sound uh, right away. Change your music, your song, and all that stuff. So that's pretty much it guys. Um, my only qualms again for this keyboard is the macro keys over here. I wish it could have been, you know, somewhere here. I'm not sure, but again, I'm not used to having macro keys in this part. But overall, this keyboard is pretty awesome, and I'm giving it a gold <coughs> award, guys. Yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this keyboard. The overall feel, the minimum minimal noise it makes, it's all good for me. Okay, guys, now let's move on to the next one. Okay, next up is the mouse. This is the Strix Claw Dark Edition. So if you want to know more about this mouse, head on to the link below for the product page. Okay, guys, so anyway... Um, just my personal experience with this mouse, I got it at the same time with this keyboard. It's the perfect pair, probably, but personally, I don't like this mouse. Uh, just for one reason, the sensitivity. Okay, but I'll show you that later. Now, the lights over here indicates the DPI, the current DPI mode, which can be switched by pressing these buttons. If you want to improve it, press the upper one. If you want to put it down, yeah, you can even set it to zero. So there you go, guys. This is not a button, <laughs> okay? Mouse wheel is pretty responsive, in my opinion. And you have three extra buttons here, which is really handy if you're a gamer. Especially if I play Overwatch, I usually put some of my skill sets and add other action buttons right over here, okay? So it's pretty nifty. I think all gaming mouse has one of these but anyway uh moving on to the sensitivity of this mouse i'm gonna show you okay i'm gonna switch to my monitor screen all right so you should be seeing my monitor screen and my, the mouse so i'm gonna set the dpi to the default first which is zero Le yeah level zero and look at the mouse the cursor i'm just moving it really really gently here and that's all it can do now if i switch it up to the next level as you can see it's much more wider now well just a bit but let put it to level 2 it drastically changes guys watch level 2 okay level 2 that's level 2 watch this see drastic changes I'm using the same keystrokes but it's drastic now level 3 <laughs> it's really drastic guys see I'm not moving this around too much. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So I still prefer the Cerberus mouse over this one because the Cerberus isn't really that sen sensitive. But for you guys who enjoy using a really sensitive mouse or a, a really high DPI, then maybe the Strix uh, Dark Claw will be the perfect thing for you. By the way, I want to give you guys a size comparison. This is the Asus Cerberus mouse and this is the Strix one. So obviously the Strix mouse is bigger. But if you would ask me, I, I still prefer this one over this one. Again, because of the, the really uh, dynamic sensitivity that this thing provides. It's much more balanced in my opinion. Okay, it's really comfortable. It just it fits right in my hand much more than this one okay guys so uh, and also as you can see i have uh the strix mouse pad uh, i don't really know what to say about it It feels nice okay it, it feels as uh as good as any other quality mouse pad that you probably have it's really smooth it's really comfy my mouse glides in and out really really well i don't know I don't really know what to say about mouse pads, but it's good. Okay, it's good. It's a good mouse pad. All right. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give the Strix Claw a half silver and a half gold award, if that makes any sense. Just because I don't like the DPS setting. Okay, it's just too sensitive for me. But for you guys who prefer really high DPS settings, then maybe the Strix isn't really a bad option for you. So yeah, kind of. 
try it out or something. But again, I still recommend this one, okay? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Here we go, guys! This is the Strix Pro Gaming Headset. It's foldable, as you can see, so that if you package it, it's it lies flat or something, but hey, here we go. Let's put it on. There! <laughs> You've probably seen this in some of my videos, and right now I'm saying it's really good. It's really, really cool. So, one thing I like about these headphones is that it's really comfy. But it was really awkward the first time, just because it was so big. I'm not used to wearing really big headphones. It's like, it covers... Not just my ear, but almost one fourth of my the side of my head. So it was really awkward at first, but you can really easily adjust it to the point where it actually cancels out the sounds in your environment. Like you can not hear anything else. So sometimes I'm shouting and stuff, and I feel like I'm the only one person here in this room. And then some of my roommates will shout at me, and I can't really hear them. So that's how awesome the noise cancellation is with this leather padded you know how do you call this like <laughs> full ear or over ear kind of headphone i'm not sure how you call it but hey you get you get what i mean another thing that's cool about this headphones is it has a control box right here what the control box does actually is pretty cool as well um it has a noise cancellation feature that slot that you're seeing right there so it, it's a built-in microphone exclusively to cancel out the noise, the environmental noise, especially the keyboard sounds and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can even switch on and switch off the microphone, which we will try out now. But where is the microphone? Um, guys, there's a bit of a problem. Oh, it's a big problem. Um, I... I seem to have lost the microphone that's supposed to be attached here. <laughs> god. Oh god, it's supposed to be this microphone. You can see it right over there. It's a detachable microphone. Oh man. This microphone was supposed to be attached uh, to this slot right over here. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry, Asus. I, I kind of lost it. Okay, I'll look for it later on. But uh, I ha did get the chance to try out the, uh, the microphone. Sorry, I can't, you know, actually give you um, a sample of the audio that it produces. Maybe you can check out another reviewer for that. But my own opinion for it is it's probably not the best microphone when you're doing a vlog or if you're doing a commentary video. But for gaming, when you're communicating with your team and all that stuff, it's really responsive and it's clear enough for everyone who's listening to your voice. So it's pretty good. So for gaming purposes, uh, I would recommend it. But for commentary, I think you can go for something much better. Go for a condenser microphone or something, okay guys? So anyway guys, just to show you the control box again, here it is. You can turn on or turn off the microphone if we had it. And control the volume with this knob right here. And also, the jack, put it in there. You can put it in your PC. If you don't want it in your PC, put it on your phone. And there you go. Awesome. You can even put it in your PS4. This jack supports audio and microphone. So if you have a PS4 controller, which I luckily have, you can put it in here. Ah, oh, here it is. <laughs> in there, okay? You can communicate with your teammates in the PS... whatever PS4 game you have. And then it can record your voice as well. So that's good. Anyway guys, I think what most of you guys want to know is the quality of the audio coming out of each individual phone. And it's pretty awesome guys. It has this the surround sound quality that you would expect from really high quality headphones or, re or recording studio headphones. Got it. When I play horror games or action FPS games, I can literally hear where the gunshots or where the footsteps are coming from. I, I, it, it's a real game changer for me. Like if there's an enemy over the wall, I can hear them there in the left side or the right side. It's pretty awesome, guys. It's, sorry, left side, right side. I don't know. <laughs> so it's pretty good. I highly recommend it. I, I've never had headphones that work this well. 
when it comes to the quality and the, the environmental audio and everything else. It's pretty good. So again, I think the, mo the, the only problem with these headphones is uh, the first time you use it, it's just really big. You just really need to find the right kind of position and how you will adjust it to your ears so that it will be really comfortable for you. But overall, it's pretty good. So again, guys, I apologize if I can't give you samples of the microphone, but uh, again, if you're planning to get this headphones, I, I think you won't get disappointed with it, okay? It's pretty awesome. So I'm giving this headphones a gold medal just because the sound quality is really, really awesome. And as for the comfort, it's pretty good during the, you know, uh, as the, the more you use it, the more you get really comfortable with it. So it's pretty awesome. Okay, no problems there. All right. So that's it, guys. That was all you need to know about these peripherals. So if you guys want to know the price or the all, all the other details or specifications of these products, go to the link below. Okay, guys? So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed and look forward for my other videos. Goodbye.